Hey guys, what's up? Matt McQuinn here. If you're just getting started with the E7 Lead Finder, there's a few things you should know before you get started. Um, firstly, is that you can only target by city. So you do need to pick a city. You can't target by state. You can't target US wide. You're limited to searching by a city. And then you're also limited to searching by a keyword. Um, so that's how their searches run. Now, when you do that, it takes a few minutes to scrape leads and then it dumps back the data that you get. But you don't just want to leave that to run a scrape. You're going to want to check out filters right here. And what you can do is come down and you'll see all of these different options that may not show up in your results. So I've tweaked these that way. Different data points are showing up in D7 and I can see the website data, their Instagram info, all of that. I want all of that to show inside of D7 as well as in the export. So I've updated my settings for all of these to show the data in D7 and export. Um, here's one right here that I forgot to do. So show on D7 plus Excel. Perfect, and we'll hit save changes. So this is giving us as much information up front as possible. Then the other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come over here is hide leads without email. Chances are you only want leads that have an email. So let's switch that to on. Hide leads without telephone. If you're, if you're doing cold calling and you have to have a telephone number, then you'll wanna switch this on. Hide without website URL. You know, for me, I always want a website URL. So I'm gonna select that and hide without address. If you're doing direct mail, then you're gonna to wanna to switch that on. Let's hit save changes. We'll come back out to lead search and then you can begin to run a search. Let's check out our history. So you can come over here and view previous lists at the top. So these are always saved, which is nice. You don't have to rerun the scrape every single time. You can go back and view this data. So all you do is click on that preview link and it should load up for us. This is an example of what one of your lists will look like inside D7 after enabling all of those different filters. You'll have all of these column headers at the top and you can see all the different information here. You can hover over it and see the email addresses. Um, you can upgrade if you wanna get some of these other data points that I don't need. Um, but I figured it would be interesting to come in and look at this because I'm, I'm doing this strictly for tutorial purposes and strictly for video creation um, because we actually run a competitor product one of the key features that's different in our competitor product is that you can filter by job title. And that to me is one of the biggest flaws in the seven lead finder is that there is no job title associated with these people. So you're getting a random email address. And a lot of times it's like accounting at bodydetails.com um, instead of Blake at, which is a good one, right? But who's Blake? Is Blake the front desk staff? Is Blake the owner? We don't know who Blake is. And so we're sending an email assuming somebody's a decision maker but we have no evidence to support that, which is really tough. So let me show you how you would get a similar list going to this inside of Coldlytics, where you can find out what their job title is, what their email is, address, phone number, etc. We're gonna jump over to a new tab and we're gonna go to coldlytics.com. Don't have a free account yet, click on sign up. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and log in. We'll come down here to our recent task that we were doing a comparison with. And you can start a new task by clicking on the plus new button. In this case, I'm gonna show you one that I've been working on. So we've set total leads to 100. We're looking for 100 leads in the United States. And we're looking for the owners and founders, directors and executives, only one contact per company. And we'll always prioritize the owners and founders if we can find them first. Um, then we'll come down to Google Maps URL. So you can see that we've pasted in a link here. And this is a simple search for, I'll show you an example. Um, what it is, is medical spas in Fort Lauderdale. Perfect, right here. So we'll run that search. And what you see is a whole bunch of potential companies on the left-hand side that would be a good fit if you're looking for med spa businesses in Florida. And so we'll copy this link you can run the search for anything, right? It doesn't have to be medical spas. It can be, um, it can be doctors in Fort Lauderdale. It can be uh, chiropractors. It could be tech companies. You can see all these here, right? So it's very, very interesting. Um, you can use Google to curate a list of companies quite quickly inside of Google Maps. Bring that back over to Coldlytics, paste that link right here, and we're off to the races. So what you're doing is telling us that you want us to go look at those companies within the United States, um, select owners and founders, 
and directors, executives that we can find and source their email address. You know, at the bottom, I'm just going to put in the additional notes, looking for tech companies in the state of Florida, exclude all other states. And so our human research team is going to go out and they're expert in finding email addresses. So while we scrape down the company information, we have real people that are experts in finding emails and phone numbers. And so that happens on the next step where we come into data points right here. By default, you're always going to have first and last name, the company name, their job title, which D7 is missing, um, the email address of the person, company website. And then I've gone and added these other data points, including the address, phone number, the direct dial for the person, the Google review count and review score, how fast their website loaded. If you're selling SEO services, that's a great data point. Um, <clears throat> you can even sell based on competitors page speeds. You know, your competitors loading two seconds faster than you. That means they're getting prioritized in the algorithm and are getting more leads than you're getting. And we can make some simple tweaks to help make sure that you're out there with your competitors. Um, we've got, you know, the social media profile links for the company, the LinkedIn profile, link of the person if it's available. Um, if they have Google Analytics installed on their website, we can tell you that. If they're running ads, we can tell you if they have an ad pixel on their website, which chances are means they're running advertising or intend to spend money on advertising, which is great to know. Um, if they have an e-commerce function on their website and if their website was built with WordPress. So there's a ton of cool data points in here that you can select from. It doesn't run up the price any. The only one that costs an extra credit is a direct dial because that's an extra research project for us to find specifically that data point. So that's how it works. You'd save that and then you would come up here and you would launch the task and it will tell you how many credits you're using and one credit equals one lead. And then it's two credits if you're getting an email with the phone number as well, the direct dial. Um, if you wanna check out our pricing, you can sign in to your account and go to account settings and check it out there. Or you can go to coldletics.com and see it on our homepage. If you guys have any questions, um, I won't show it here because the pricing does change. Um, if you wanna ask any questions at all, come right here, use our web chat, and send me a message. And this goes directly to myself and my co-founder. So I'd be happy to chat with you and see if we can build you a highly targeted, focused list that's better than what you've been getting from D7. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.